Hello. Good afternoon again, Chair Stevenson and members of the committee. My name is Corey Marshall and I serve as the Director of State and Local Government, Government Relations Central Region for the Chamber of Progress, a tech industry coalition committed to ensuring all Americans benefit from technological leaps. Our corporate partners include companies like Amazon, Apple, and Google, but our partners do not have a vote or voice in our decisions or in our positions. We urge your committee to oppose HF 1503. It was noted earlier that this type of legislation um, um, encourages business innovation. It does not. This bill's constructive knowledge standard for platforms regarding the age of potential minors on their system compels proactive age verification. This outcome results from the bill stating that a platform is liable, and I quote, if the operator of a social media platform knew or had reason to know that the individual account holder was under the age of 18, end quote. There is disagreement about the best methods for verifying users' ages, but they could include techniques like facial recognition, or other biometric scans, even less invasive methods like requir requiring users to enter their birth date or ID or driver's license in order to enter a site would still require widespread data collection. These techniques would have to be used for every user, not just children, resulting in increased data collection for everyone on the internet, as mentioned earlier, even everyone around this panel. HF 1503 requires social media platforms to obtain uh, permission from legal guardians before allowing users under the age of 18 to create an account. This requirement could limit access to supportive communities and resources for groups who need it the most. For marginalized teens or those looking for support, social media can be especially beneficial. LGBTQ plus youth often turn to social media for resources and connection to supportive communities they might not otherwise have at home. Teens looking for information on reproductive, reproductive or sexual health services, including abortion, access, or rape crisis centers, can use social media to be connected with expert and community resources. Look, at a time when, with, when books with LGBTQ plus themes are being banned from our school libraries and reproductive rights are under attack all across this country, this bill could cut off teens from, from the potentially life-saving resources social media can and does provide. In conclusion, HF 1503 would eliminate some of the tools platforms use to keep mm -hmm. children safe online and would cut off mm -hmm. marginalized groups from social connections and other helpful resources. We respectfully urge this committee to oppose HF 1503. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that concludes the public testimony. We'll move to member discussion.